Okay, welcome back. And uh, as requested by some people uh, on YouTube and Facebook, they wanted to know what this Fison body is looking like after a year. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same as it did a year ago. Uh, still got some of the sheen on it from the uh, hairspray. And uh, what I'm going to do, oh, it's just a bit of a uh, fluff. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip it just to show you my technique. Just and it's literally very basic. It's just using this stuff here, applying it with my fingers, and then using a baby wipe or in this case a you know multi-surface wipe and uh, just you know wiping it until you get the uh, right sort of skin tone and with this one the J jowl body or JL body as you can see the head sculpt uh, it's got some uh, work some brown paint on it but the, even if it didn't have those bits of uh, mud and stuff on it the skin tone doesn't match the body so I'm just going to use a selection of chalks here mostly brown uh, maybe a bit of orange just to um, take the complexion a bit darker hands are okay they were off a Mr. Bean figure, believe it or not, that I got from Kitchen. They're very good, very uh, tight fitting onto the pegs and grip the weapon really nice. Probably have to split the finger here to get it onto the trigger, but haven't got around to it. The gun here is a nice gun, it's a uh, damn toys. But I'll come back to that on another video once it's all done but for this video I'm just going to quickly pause it strip old Rambo down so you can see what he looks like and if I've got time I might apply some onto this so you can see that you know how it works anyway enough waffling I'll be back in a minute okay so as you can see I'll bring in the light you can see the legs on this uh, Fison are the stock colour. It's got a bit of staining from the uh, trousers at the bottom and the boots where it was holding it tight. But as you can see, the let's get in close and get a good look. There's no problems, no cracks. Um, you know, no unsightly bits. So the only thing with these bodies is that oh look there's a bit of a uh, black from the uh, necklace. I used a very old piece of string for his necklace and uh, it just started to rot. It's just all I had to hand at at the time. So you can see it's starting to uh, discolour a little bit, but you know what I mean that comes off quite easily as you can see. Well, it probably can't actually. Let me try and uh, just give it a wipe here, and that brings it back. So it is quite a permanent, uh, you know what I mean, there's nothing, or well, very little coming off onto the, uh, oh, you see there's a little bit there, but nothing major. And this is a year old, and it's only sealed with hairspray, so it's only a very light, uh, what's that mark? 
think that is. It's just one of those bits heavier with the weathering powder. But as you can see, with a bit of clean up, because dust does stick to these things, there is no. It's just dust on the chest there. There is no uh, problems with this a year on. I've seen there. Uh, I've seen people wanting to paint figures and people recommending silicon paint. Never tried it, so I don't know how well that would work. And this is all stained from the. Uh, I don't know, because I've been touching chalks and stuff, I might have been transferring bits on. I've got red chalk, pink chalk, orange and blue chalk here, so... You know, it's a bit, a bit of a pain getting the, uh, getting it to look right, but let me just show you. With the weathering powders. I use the uh, burnt red one in the middle. I literally just get some on my finger like that and just as you can see rub it on and then with your uh, rag you just spread it around it's as simple as that once you've got a bit of moisture on it it um, helps spread it around more and it's just a case of getting it to a uh, shade that you're happy with. I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera because it's quite hard work keeping your arms extended past the camera and doing all this. And I like to get up close. And but I tell you what I do. I've got some brown here. I just put little dab on there to show you and that's the smallest of dabs all right I've cleaned my fingers mm, not really it gets into all the cracks in your fingers so make sure you clean your fingers and then spread it you see how that gives it a little bit of shading Easy lighting this. Right, let's go for the chest. Might be a bit easier to demonstrate. I'm just give a little nipple there. Highlight like his nipples. And then uh, take off what you don't want. Best way actually will probably be with a uh, a wet cotton bud for these type. Of, so I'm just gonna lick that and then just take off what I don't want. So now he's got nice dark titties, and then uh, when you're happy with how that looks. Tss, tss, Little spray of hairspray. Come on. So be careful with the dark colours because they are. You know, on this thing I'm not too bothered because it's already got an orangey complexion. But if you're doing something with a very pale complexion, once you uh, put any type of dark pigment onto it as a little bit goes a hell of a long way and uh, fuck that one <laughs> let me just take a little bit off but usually you can get away with you know you can get away with it you can remove what you don't want You know. Let's have a look. Let's 
So yeah, that's basically it. Oh, that's 10 minutes, so I'll cut it short there. Don't know how informative this video is. Or, you, or useful, as you can see. That's the body after a year. I think it looks good. Uh, it could probably be done a bit better. Looks a bit streaky in places. But, uh, probably because I've just wiped some of it off. But say for a year old, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Definitely would go this way instead of painting or using dyes. I mean, this is a more um, I don't know organic way of doing it I suppose you could do it with dyes as well but got a load of chalk there so I'm going to do that one so it matches up with that and uh, I'll come back with another video soon and uh, show you the results obviously you won't see any difference on this one because it's going to be clothed but you'll see the results on this body Alright, thanks for watching.